All right. Um, welcome to topic six. Um, topic six is is sort of kind of it's just taking what we learned in topic five and taking a little bit, a little bit further, especially topic uh, one and two. Um, the standard is going to be pretty much the same. Multiply a whole number of up to four digits by a one-digit number and multiply two digits two two-digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. All right, so the, this example here is, is you have two cases of 16 CDs. Each box contains 16 video games, and they want to know how many total CDs do you have. So you can do this by taking and representing 16 using an array or an area model. Um, so we're going to represent this tall is the tall tower here is going to represent ten, and then we're going to draw six little squares. There's two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to do that again because we have two boxes of sixteen, and there again there's ten, two, three. Four, five. All right, so that, if we count all these up, we got 10, 20. So we have 20 and 10s. And then counting them individually, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 10, 20 plus 12, and that equals. 32. And if you do the standard algorithm and figure it out, 16 times 2 is in fact 32. 16 times 2 is 32. All right. So these are area models. It's kind of using a model just to represent um, the number, the larger number, uh, using blocks. All right. So now the, the next problem is Gene played a game of checkers 23 times each day for five days. How many times do you play checkers in five days? And they're asking you, how do you record multiplication when the product, the answer, remember the product means answer, has three digits. So this multiple right here is a two-digit number, and this, the uh, multiple right here, is a uh, a one digit number, a single digit number. But when you multiply these, you are going to get a three digit number. Now we've done quite a few of these um, between our minute math and, um, and the problems from topic five. So this should be pretty much a review for you. And remember, we can do this in two ways, but I'm going to do it in the standard algorithm. I'm going to say five times three is 15. But I don't write the 15 here. I simply put the 5 down here. And since the 10, the 1, the 10 is um, going to be covered up here, we just place the up top there. All right. It's kind of like we're just adding that extra one in after we multiply. So then we go 5 times 2 is 10. And then we add this. And just go ahead and circle it so you remember that you've done it. And that equals 11. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 1 equals 11. So we can say 23 times 5 is 115. Now let's go ahead and use the expanded algorithm, the partial product algorithm. And let's go ahead and see if we can figure it out the same way. So we say 5 times 3 is 15. Remember we put our 1 and a 5 here. Now we've moved to the 10 spot. So remember, we put an X right here. Then we do 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Then we add them up, and we 5 plus 0 is 5. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 0 is 1, 115. They both match. All right, so... All right, let's try just one more. So 26 times 5. Now, this one's already got the, the little squares here, so you kind of know what you're doing here, where, where to fill in. Um, so we go 20. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. 26 times 5. Now, again, I can't stress enough. It is very, very important to line up all of your numbers, make a nice straight line. So 5 times 6 is 30. 
I'm going to place the 30 right here. All right. Then we're going to move to the 10 spot. The number in the 10 spot is a 2. So we need to put an X here. Then we go 5 times 2 is 10. And 0, 3, and 1. So 26 times 5 is 130. All right, so uh, it would be a good idea to go ahead and practice, and uh, we'll continue to practice in, in class.